Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. This video is another Angulum video and we will make it very short just to cover all the important parts. So I will just call it Angulum for Dummies. Um, I started with a new team, many of the players didn't do Angulum before and I told them, oh you can check out the video, but it figured the video is a little bit long and um, not directly as to the point as it could be. So I'll try to get to the point as fast as possible to explain Angulum and what to do um, everywhere. So first thing you always will need to go to your base. In your base um, you have your port where you got all your ships. There's not really much to do besides assigning aircrafts here. And the more important part is a camp center. In the camp center you have to assign the blueprints. Now we do have three capital ship um, shipyards and each of them can have 10 blueprints. The blueprint will be only assigned to that shipyard where you configured it. So if you have, like you can see it here, we do have the Nomas from Bergonia. Um, we will not see them in any of the other shipyards. Everyone can build every blueprint. So be careful if you build one of the ships of one of your team members, he will not be able to build them. Now for the capital shipyards, to be honest, there are only two ship types that you really need. Um, one can be um, a frigate and that should be a recon frigate, either the FG300 or the Carillion recon. The FG300 is a little bit faster um, when it comes to cruise speed, but not very much. And the second blueprint you are looking for are the AC721s. And you can see here most of my AC721s are built. You want these for the additional storage capacity, especially early in game. So the first thing you want to build when you get into the game are the AC721 generic blueprints. Other ships you want to add are aircrafts. Um, there are not many aircrafts that perform amazing here. The Vitas B010 is one of these blueprints that performs just amazing. The Hyredans also perform very good. Um, the Cellular Defender performs okay. And then we do have, let's see, we have someone bringing in the S Levy 9. They also perform very well. You see, I also have some um, Nebula Chasers. They perform okay, but I would say the blueprint you must bring in are definitely Vitas B010. Um, that's just the best blueprint. I can show you some battle reports at the end. Now for the capital shipyard, there are two ships that perform amazingly. Everyone needs spears. Um, I cannot overrate these ships here. The spear is the power horse of Angulum. Um, we do only have four people bringing in spears, so every one of us using five spears and the player without the blueprint is using four of the spears. The other blueprint I highly recommend is one carrier blueprint with additional aircraft modules. As said before, the Vitas B010 are amazing and unfortunately everything that is smaller than battle cruisers or carriers will get damaged usually very easily. So bringing in cruisers, it works somehow, but it is much better if you have a carrier. So for us, you can see here, we brought in some solar veils. Um, we also brought in FSV 830s, because if you bring in your own orc ship, you will have um, the option to skill the um, propulsion system and therefore you can move faster which is really really nice. And that's it. These are the ships I would say you must have. There are other ships that you can have. The IO Siege for example is a pretty good one. Um, but that's it. For the capital ship you only have eight blueprints to bring in. So if people bring in blueprints like here the ST-59 they will use a slot and you will be locked on. Best case, you will have five people bringing in their spears. That means you only have three blueprints left. If you now want to bring in um, some solar veils or other carriers, you will get already very, very tight with the available blueprints. 
Um, you can work with just one solar veil or one carrier blueprint. That means everyone, every player can use one. Um, if everyone has full spears, that means everyone brings in six spears and one carrier from the blueprint and then one additional carrier from gathering. I will show you that too. And then you still can bring in two or three AUX ships. Um, the other option, what we did here, as we didn't have all the spears, we brought in four spears, we brought in two FSVs and two solar veils, which gave us one additional slot that we don't even use. Now, the next important thing, especially early in game, you want to go to the Noma trading post and you want to buy a small supply chest. Um, you don't have enough um, credits to buy anything bigger. You can spend all your coins here for the chest as well as the prefab modules. You will not take them back into the main game, so they will just disappear when Angulum is over. Do not hesitate to buy prefab modules, to buy small supply chests early on, to give you a little bit of a head start. And that brings us to our internal affairs, where we have the standard resource trade. Do this at the beginning as you need it, but more important, there's also the ore refining. So you see all the chests you have here, um, and you just need to put them there. They will run for 10 minutes, and they will increase your resource income dramatically. You can see here 864k on metal for the large chest. Um, a medium chest still 576. I don't have a small chest right now, but it's getting smaller. But still, this is your main income for resources. Click confirm and every 10 minutes you can change that. Then build your ships. Use prefab modules to speed them up because all your players will share these... Um, building slots, so speed up that it's available for the player. Set up a fleet with your AC721. Don't forget to go into the ship blueprints and skill the storage capacity. Now, that's the most important thing. You want the storage capacity of these AC721 maxed out. Now, after this, you want to go to any place on the map and you want to gather these wreckages. And for this, the faster you are, the easier it will be to gather them. As soon as you have done that, you will need to find an exit. You can either see them on the map with these green um, symbols, or unfortunately the map here is at the moment not visible. They are also sometimes randomly on the map and not marked, but you can use them. Um, let's see, do we have one somewhere here? No. So let's go to one of these. They are these green circles and when you click into this circle you can say return to camp. Because if you retreat it will tell you you will lose all items that you start. You don't want to do that. That would waste your time. Then the only thing you have to do is increase your resources and build your fleet. Um, you want to have as many spears as possible. If you can have six, you want six spears. I do have five spears. As I said, we share one spear. I do have two of my solar veils that I built, and I have one solar veil that you can gather from Rex level 9 or 10. It has a little bit less um, space for aircrafts, but it does bring repair UAVs, and it just works well also with the setup. I can bring in all 10 of my... B 010s and that's the target. I just add additional high reddens. The Vitas are the main ones, the most important ones. I have some cellular defenders, some nebula chasers. Um, and that's it. Now there are two battles you will fight. One battle is versus um, stations defense here. Oh, no, that's still an asteroid. Let's see, I should have one somewhere. Um, probably when we go here, a few battles. Automatic defense post here we have. To start gathering at these um, relics, you have to kill the automatic defense post. You will only do siege damage against them, nothing else. And they will do damage against your fleet. Now, here I did help one of my um, teammates, therefore I didn't get any damage, that's a good thing. And you can see 
The Zelda Defender is doing reasonable siege damage, but most of the damage, 1.16 million total, 1 million over 1 million is coming from the Vitas and the Spears, so anything else besides them does not really matter. You can bring in siege IOs, they are really really good from the damage, but the players that I see that use them, they always lose one or two, and then you have to rebuild them, you have to repair them, and so on and so on. So if you can, that would be my recommended setup. Now, for the other part of the fights, this will be against asteroids, and they will come in, and you see here, I did fight the defense station, so my ships got damaged before. If we look at the battle stats, there was zero damage coming in from these asteroid belts. And most of the damage, this anti-ship damage, is coming again from the Vitas, and um, the rest is just spread over the Stellar Defender, Spears, and everything. Now important for your ships to be able to do damage against asteroids, as you see here, the time um, the fight lasts is very short, 26 seconds. You will have to skill two things. So first of all, I do skill, not in the spear, sorry, in my Solar Veil, I do skill the RTB times. Get the RTB, the ready to battle, um, very low. This means your aircraft will be able to fly out faster. And after it flew out, it needs to be able to attack very, very quickly. So, as I do have only limited um, tech points, I do use the target selection time on the aircraft. You can see here 60% in the propulsion system and then another 30% in the weapon system. So I have a 90% target time reduction. You can bring it to 100%, 90% is enough. So these are the two most important things. More important than skilling the weapon itself, the most important thing, bring down the RTB, bring down the target time, and that's it. And then from there, we can start gathering these ruins. If you are alone and you have a full fleet, you can gather level 4 and 5 alone. Um, if you can gather level 10, you will need probably two people to help you. And um, that's what we will try now. So, And to do this, make sure your um, friends are in position. You will see here I have pipe pipels as well as um, Malziel. They will help me. And as soon as Malziel is in position, honestly I can already do it now, this will take only a few seconds, you click on the collect and it will warn you that the automatic defense system will need to be fought. Now, that's something you have to live with. You select your fleet and you start this. Um, one thing to note, during the time you fight the automatic defense, you will not be able to fight versus asteroids, so they will hit you. So if you check your fleet and you see down here that there's an asteroid coming, you might want to wait first for the asteroid to hit and then start the fight. Now here you see we did spawn the automatic defense post and now the two fleets from my teammates can also target that and help me. I will be the one, the only one who gets damage, so um, like in this case, uh, Malziel, he just finished his farming, his fleet is damaged, but that doesn't matter. He still can join the attack, help me getting this thing killed quickly because he will not get any, any damage. Now for the damage during that time, this is different to what you experience. You will get damage on all ships somehow and that's also on most ships. Um, you will see my Zelda Defenders, they do get damage. My Vitas B-010 don't get damage. My Nebula Chasers also get damage. Um, most of the damage will go against the Spears. Probably one or two of them will be at 50% at the end of the battle. And you just wait. As soon as the fight is over, you will automatically start collecting. And um, that's it. So what are we collecting for? There are two things. Um, one thing, you will have more than enough, these are the Angulum process points. Um, you need 8000, everything above 8000 doesn't give you any benefit. And you will get them very quickly if you are able to do the ruins um, on a regular base. The other thing we are going to yeah, 
try to get are these damaged black market tech files. As you can see here, I only have eight of them. In theory, you could take out up to 30. If you have a very well um, working team, um, that is possible. You need two people to help. So if you are five people total, that means usually three people can gather. And when they are finished, they can help the next person to gather. So they don't go home directly. They will help the person together like here now these two people they finished gathering now they help me gathering um, we already have additional fleets coming in i think or at least they should so when they finished helping me and nobody else is waiting anymore they go back to the base repair they will be back when i finished gathering i will help them again and whoever is on the way so you can always keep two to three people gathering while the others go back repair and um, return or empty their storage space and that's it that's the secret behind the game so at the beginning build ac 7 to ones scale the storage space look for a place where you can farm these um where are we here these wreckages for this to do this you just um at the beginning the first time you just go to your base, you click on go on an expedition and there you set up your fleet and that's it. When you finished gathering, no matter if it's ruins or wreckages, find one of these exit points here, these green circles, go into it, bring home your resources. Don't forget to level up your blueprints, don't forget to um, refine your ore, you will see. What I started early is already finished, so just put the next box in, confirm it, um, and that's it. And then as fast as you can, build your fleet with your five or six spears. Um, some aircrafts try to get in the B-010s, they are really, really amazing. Then search for the biggest um, ruin you can. As you can see here, I didn't mention that before. All ruins have these dust trails and where they meet you will find the ruin. Level 10 ruins they do have five of uh, sorry six of them. Um, smaller ruins have three of them or two of them and you will just need to follow them. You can also if you are not very skilled just ask in the star system. Everyone usually is um, sharing some reports there. Here you see a level 4 report, so if you want to know where's a level 4 ruin, just click to that coordinate and there will be one. You want to find a bigger one, um, you can also ask or you just scroll through. At the end, when the server is closed, you can take out your damaged boxes in the main game and open them there. So the video of course got a little bit longer as I wanted to as always. But I hope it will help everyone. I hope I was able to just, um, yeah, get everything in one video. So if you want to do Angolom, I hope it will help you. And as usual, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then I'll see you on the next video again.